Now, you know when you hear that tune what exactly it means. This is Expresso, your feel-good breakfast show. And what's the best way to wrap up another week right here on your feel-good breakfast show? How about with a fashion roundup of only the need to know in news trending this week? Q, fashion fix, everybody. On Vogue and on time. And here to serve us with a platter of news, ensuring we move into the weekend in style is our fashion editor, Nick Strelle. A platter. <laughs> A gluten-free platter. Ooh, a gluten-free. I'm gluten-free. We are yeah. gluten-free And I'm allergic. Indeed. It's not That's an intolerance. Okay. Wow. It's, it's, I just want to start with that. a lot of information. Okay. It's not fashion news, but I want to talk about it But let's later. talk fashion. I guess let's we can. Let's talk international Fine. fashion. I guess we will. Okay. What's happening? Guys, it's New York Fashion Week right now for the autumn winter 19 season. Check my roundup next week, everyone. Mm -hmm. But first, I want to talk about a first in New York. Changing the game is New York with designer Pierre Davis. Yes. Now, designer Pierre Davis has just become the first transgender fashion designer to showcase at New York Fashion Week since 1943. Okay. Since its inception, we're doing big things. It's brand, her brand called No Sesso. In Italian, actually translates to No Sex. The brand itself is completely agender. Um, the inspiration behind the collection, I think, is really pivotal to sort of run through. Uh, when asked about the inspiration behind the collection, Pierre Davis said, quote, I create clothes for masculine people who want to appear more feminine, feminine people who want to appear more masculine, and everything in between. Okay. So, I mean, I think, again, we're, we talk about breaking boundaries and barriers in the fashion game. This is a first. I mean, can you believe this is the first time it's ever happened? Wow. Since 1943. Sure. I mean, it's Why? big. Groundbreaking stuff. It's groundbreaking. People like Erica Badu have been pioneering the brand since 2017. She was spotted wearing one of his deconstructed shirt dresses while performing at a soul festival. Wow. So the celebrity endorsements are coming in, but I think it's just really important to note that uh, this really pivotal moment in the fashion game. Yeah, it's good definitely. to know. You need to call Tyrone. Yeah, Queen. Call him. Do you have his number? Uh, no, I don't okay. have Tyrone's number. Perfect. Can, find it. can someone get Tyrone's number? Can someone get me number, Tyrone's number, please? please? What else is making me single? Yeah, okay. you would want to speak to Tyrone. Oh, girl. Oh, okay. Okay, let's talk Jennifer Lawrence, America's sweetheart. <laughs> Who's engaged? Oh, she's engaged. Oh, this is not. Okay, cool. That is We're, Jennifer that's Lawrence. Jennifer she's Lawrence. at the back. Yes, but that's, I'm not there yet. So I'm, oh, okay. I'm still talking about Jennifer Lawrence. So she just got engaged to Cook Maroney. Maroney, excuse me. Yes. Something tells me he's not going to need to cook in anything for long now because she's rich. That's what I'm saying. So did you see what I did? Cook is his name. He doesn't need to cook because she's got so much money. Everyone will cook but for him. But maybe he's got wow. his own when money. You have to explain no, he the doesn't, joke. Zoe Brown. That's when the joke isn't good. But he is a director at an art gallery. That was very rude, but I appreciate your honesty. <laughs> director at an art gallery. He represents Lena Dunham's dad. What? Isn't that funny? That's they have a lot of money, the Dunham's, but that's, again, another story. Girl, Why do you keep touching on the money? Because I love money. I love money. Okay, let's talk about the Bridesmaids, Battle of the Bridesmaids, because she has two besties, Emma Stone and Amy Schumer, so we don't know who is going to be the maid of honor or one of the, best, the, the bridesmaids to be, which okay. is important. They'll probably both be bridesmaids. Probably, yeah. Yes. But I want to talk about um, top tips for brides. So Glamour just released sort of their top tips, a very sort of capsule of what uh, dues that brides should all be aware of. So number one is the top of the dress is most important. Now, when you think about what gets photographed the most at weddings, it really... Boom, 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 boom. Yes, one right? So people don't really think about that. So you need to make sure the bodice, the top of the dress is blowing in because that's what's really going to be on camera. <laughs> Trying on dresses. This is very, very important, obviously. You don't want to inundate yourself with options, but you also want to make sure you're trying on enough because things on a hanger can sometimes look amazing or yeah. equally terrible. Yeah. But you don't know until you've actually put it on your body. Yeah. So make sure you're trying on five to ten dresses, maybe over a three-day period. Okay. okay. Right? Um, who you bring with is very important. Reality shows have us make believe that we should bring 10, 15 people, our no. grandmother, the guy no. who made us coffee last week, our dog walker, to try on dresses and get their opinion. You need to bring the most honest person That's along. it, Zoe Brown. Because I don't want everyone to say, ooh, that looks nice, that looks nice. Be yeah. honest. But even if they don't like it, they're projecting onto you, you lose sight of your vision, what you want. It becomes what everyone else wants. So okay. maybe go with one impartial bestie. That could be your mother, someone who gives you objective advice. Yeah. Wedding dress sizes, this is very important. Don't be scared when you get to a wedding dress to try it on. Dresses generally come up two to three sizes larger than you really are, your actual size. So don't be devastated when you go in there and you need to go up two to three sizes. So that's just a quick tip. You don't want to go there, try on, and want to kill yourself. No, we don't want that. It's supposed to be your happiest day. It's now. a happy day. Don't no so suicide. Nervous. Let's not talk about it. I don't want to go there. And then sales are final. This is an all-important facet of trying on wedding dresses. Most wedding dresses and accessories are final sales. So do your research before. Make sure their policy is in according to what you actually want. Yeah. Because it's important. You want your dress to yeah. speak volumes. I feel like I might be picking out wedding dresses at the end of this year. <gasps> can I be your impartial bestie that can lay her opinion? Eh? Can I give you away? Please, Maybe. Can, we, can we join you for the, Maybe. the, the shopping absolutely, expedition? Absolutely, absolutely. Well, it's curated news that you can use. That's Fashion Fix only <laughs> on your Feel Good Breakfast Show. Head to Expresso's Facebook page for more on this.